Right, right. Okay, I'll come down and give you my amendment to the amendment. President Zerwas, for what purpose? Mr. Speaker, would uh, Mr. Chisholm yield? Mr. Chisholm, you yield? Mr. Chisholm, you yield? I yield. He yield. Uh, Mr. Chisholm, I, I know that we talked a little bit about uh, where this uh, particular bill or issue was heard, and it was outside of the, the typical venues that we hear about the, the scope of practice and the concerns around that. Uh, did I hear you agree that, that it's actually heard in other areas also at, at an equal level? No, I didn't, I didn't say that. I just said that other, agent, other committees sometimes do these scope of practice things, I guess. So that, that's all I reference to. And you can send anything to state affairs. So, uh, it, you know, it's within, evidently the speaker declared it or determined that it was within uh, his authority to send it to that committee. I had nothing to do with that. Do, do you have concerns regarding um, uh, the, the education, training, and experience of a chiropractor to do certain types of procedures that may be viewed by other people as being the same thing that perhaps uh, an orthopedic surgeon might do? Well, uh, absolutely. I, I don't think um, chiropractors even pretend to be orthopedic surgeons, um, you know, so that's not an issue as far as I'm concerned. So the, the, the it doesn't in this bill either. So the line that uh, uh, Representative Schwartner shared with you on, on line 12, page 1, where it, it basically says uh, a chiropractor and one or more, more other type of practitioner, does that give you concern that that other type of practitioner could be somebody uh, that, that actually has more education, more experience, and it is more qualified to do a certain... No, we, we, we in that in that particular thing, and you're just taking line 12 out of a whole sentence, but what that says... Representative Sheffield raised the point of order. General time is five point of order. No rotation. Sorry, amendment? To the amendment. So we read the amendment. Sorry, back up the amendment. The amendment is withdrawn. Representative Colcourse to speak against the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I am going to oppose this amendment, although I uh, dearly uh, love my friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Chisholm. And, you know, this is something that didn't come through the Public Health Committee, and although we all have chiropractors in our area, this is, you know, a modifying the insurance code, which could, could possibly, um, it, it needs to be a little more well vetted. I'm going to yield to one of my public health members uh, also, but I respectfully oppose the amendment and will move to table. Mr. Schwartner, will speak against the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This, this amendment, as uh, Mr. Chisholm said, is um, reported to be about payment for chiropractors. When you read this amendment, it is not about payment for chiropractors. This is about expansion of what chiropractors can do, expansion of their scope of practice. And my friends, my members, this is a very important concept to get down here with this amendment, and this amendment does need to be defeated. It allows and ties chiropractors to other practitioners, and if other practitioners are paid for a service and chiropractors in their scope believe that they should be able to do that, then it mandates insurance companies to pay payment to those chiropractors as well. For instance, if I were doing a total knee and the Texas Board of Chiropractic Medicine deemed in their judgment um, that total knees were now within the scope of practice of chiropractic medicine, then this bill, this amendment, would mandate that insurance carriers pay for the, the chiropractic care as they would pay for a horse surgeon performing a knee replacement. That's 